Hello, welcome to Quantum Espresso Tutorial Series for Beginners. This is Lab 8, Electronic Band Structure Calculation and Plot. In Electronic Band Structure Calculation, you have to take uh, some precaution uh, before calculating band structure. I would suggest you to do optimization process using VCRelax. Uh, for that, you have to watch our previous videos in our channel. Uh, the value of e cat and k points should also be converged for greater, uh, greater accuracy as well as the right choice of pseudo potential can also affect the plot of band structure so uh, choose the right pseudo potential for your material there are three files are needed for calculating uh, band structure one is a save file which is uh, save as graphite turn in other is a pw bands file with high symmetry k points and uh, last one is bands file first two files are compiled with pw command and last one is compiled uh, with uh, bands file means bands command this is the band structure after the calculation can you believe that uh, you can draw this type of plot with windows yes it is easy with origin band structure is an easy tool to examine how the state energies change from one k point to other k points uh, or you can judge uh, materials by type and value of band gaps so this is very important tool for electronic properties let's see how to calculate electronic band structure here we have a cf pw bands and bands input file with uh, ultra pseudo potential file first of all let's look into the scf and pw bands file for recognize basic difference Calculation is SCF prefix is graphite for output file, pseudo potential directories, output directory is data and verbosity high because we want to print all k points here. In a bands file, uh, calculation is bands, B A N D S, and all other parameters uh, remain the same uh, to prevent error. And I would suggest you to keep the all parameter the same in all three files. Here is uh, electron taps. We don't want this all parameters. Here major difference is k points. Here we use automatic uh, and uh, in bands there is uh, crystal B k points and there are 12 uh, high symmetry points. If you want to know from where we got this high symmetric k points and it is very easy uh, go to quantum espresso portal then tools then material clouds and then click on see k path and uh, choose file graphite dot in quantum espresso input file scf file and then calculate my structure and you will get this type of base here is your structure graphite structure you can change it to supercell and update here is the reciprocal lattice of uh, graphite and uh, the path of high symmetric k points here is the information about the cell vectors and space groups uh, and same as the information about reciprocal space 
you can choose the right path or suggested path from here this is these are the uh, high symmetry points which we used in our calculation copy that and paste here with comment here gamma we write small g capital g and uh, the value of uh, value after this high symmetry point is indicate the number of k points between two high symmetry points so here gamma 20 m 20 k 20 same as uh, a is equal to 0 because we jump from a to l directly so we don't uh, want to calculate the k point between a and l so a is 0 same as m and k and last point is h okay then we should correct this okay k is equal to 0 h is equal to 20 this is comment section only save this as save file as graphite.in and save in a folder same as same as save this file as pw underscore bands dot in in a same folder and save now open bands dot in file here we have only one section band section let's compare with uh, input a save input file here you can see that uh, prefix and out directory is same as a cf and uh, the file band is output of uh, final band structure calculation is bands.tat first we will run all three uh, these three files using pw and uh, bands command for that we have to open command prompts by pressing the shift and uh, right click together and open command windows here here we will write pw input file first we will compile scf file so graphite.in graphite.out and then press enter calculation is done now now uh, we will compile pw scf file with pw command pw bends scf file and pw bends out then press it and uh, now compile this last file with uh, bends mm, our file is bends dot in and bends dot out now final process is completed now now we have a three output file this is a cf output file this is pw bands output file and this is bands out uh, from graphite means a cf output file we can find here for me level so for me energy is 5.4340 EV and from bands.out file we 
we can get most IMP information X coordinate of uh, band uh, electronic band structure plot uh, these are the value of high symmetry points on X coordinate okay. bands.dat.gnu file open here is the high symmetry points means k points and uh, uh, energy related to k points let's open this to column in excel file for plotting a graph open lab 8 all file okay bench.dat bench.dat gnu file open fix width next next and finish now you have a two column one is high symmetry points and other is energy related to the points you can draw lot using this excel file but there is a little problem first of all select these two columns by control shift and and i suggest you to download origin lab or origin software from originlab.com which is free from for a students here you can get it free so get started for free if you use it first time and if you are a student means if you have a student ID email ID which is associated with um, any educational institute then you can get it easily from this site just uh, have to fill the form and submit you got a mail with the download link so copy this two column in origin software file new workbook blank workbook here is x column y column paste these two columns name here in x column there are, there are high symmetry point while in a y column energy related to symmetry points of okay, k points unit is electron volt now plot using this two column so click on plot basic 2d plot line plot column a is on x axis and column b is on y axis a on x axis b on y axis then click on ok here is the band structure plot first of all we will assign high symmetry points on x axis by click on this axis and axis this is horizontal axis from 0 to 4 and then apply vertical axis minus 15 to 20 
can press on more we want to change change major ticks in horizontal axis by custom position then we can put this position from bands dot output file here are the x coordinates copy paste copy paste copy up to 3.6288 and uh, no need to repeat the coordinate let's close this file and press apply okay. now the major ticks are changed now go to ticks label type tick index as string here we will assign a string or character to each high symmetry points or each major ticks by writing suppose this is gamma points you can get it from EW bands G M K G A means gamma M K gamma then M then K complete this all character in a string press apply button now here is the value of all high symmetry points means string for high symmetry points if you want to change this gamma into symbol then go to expel file insert symbol gamma then insert close copy this gamma point and paste in a origin change to gamma and change to gamma apply now here is a gamma point if you want to change the size then you can change from here suppose I change the size of font then you want to give a title to the graph on a top position so here electronic pen structure or pen structure electronic pen structure of default apply then go to grid we want to draw vertical grid from these points so measure grid line click so color black and then press apply here are the grid lines if you want to change the thickness I want to draw Fermi level uh, in this graph so just click on additional line click on Y then write Fermi energy from graphite dot output file here is the Fermi energy 
copy and paste here apply this is for me line okay scale is up to 3.6288 then we will write here 3.63 apply and okay now it is okay now i want to draw border of the graph so <coughs> press on a plot then <coughs> layer frame I want to darken these lines so uh, click on the increase of thickness one is not enough so 1.5 okay now our graph is ready we can move this legend here okay you can export this graph as jpg open dialog graph uh, image type jpg file name bands where you want to save then click on ok button here is the graph 